think. What the hell? There's got to be a better way for this. Okay. All right. Wait. That might be. That might be. Why is it still in? Is he playing? Is he playing 13? Oh, I think he is. The 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 original, the good one. Okay. All right. Let's play some Grand Blue. I was playing Diablo. Diablo. I got about 14. About 14 more tiers, prize tiers to unlock in the season of Construct before I'm like, you know what? I, I may be good. I could go as, as far as maybe because there's a couple more in the next. Uh, I could go. You could actually turn the, the um, auto. I found you could turn the auto save off. I, I could go as far as um, like tier almost 50. Might go through about halfway 40, 46 or so. Um, I'll see what happens. Ooh. All right, so that bad one I did last, where I got the C. Here it is. Uh, you got the better end of the deal there, Joe. Oh, man, that's real loud. Yeah, he just has game audio down real low. Um, I, I played it again and got an A. You know, I gotta see. All right, see you. Oh, I want to see what those fade episodes are. Let's see what a fade episode. Let's do a fade Can episode. I oh, I think what you do is. Oh, yeah, I think this is you read a prologue or watch a video or something. I don't even think this. <laughs> and you get a stat increase, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Stats up. HP 10 and attack 3. Yeah, it's a it's a cutscene that explains stuff about the characters. Our adventure and shit. began with a strange light falling over my home island of Zinc and Yeah, this is cool easy shit. I chased it to the impact site where I found a blue-haired girl named Lyria and a knight, Catalina. The girl was shaken. Pretty soon, I learned the reason why. She was on the run from Erste Empire soldiers. I knew an unfair fight when I saw one, so I stepped up to protect Lyria from those awful tyrants. Catalina and I fended them off well enough. When their backs were in the corner, they released a fire-breathing Hydra. It charged me, sending me flying yeah, into the tree line. Moments away from death. Yeah, all I could think about was Dad. He'd been the one who trained me, and he'd done a great job, but... Well, who expects their son to get attacked by a five-headed horror? I was going to be devastated. So, it's all over. Just as I began to sink into darkness, a gentle light enveloped my body. Lyria breathed by a mystical halo was floating above me with her hand outstretched she explained that she was going to merge our life forces fortunately it worked from that moment forward lyria and i would be inextricably linked looking into her blue eyes i knew i had nothing to fear not even death itself two people one life a greater whole Lyria had taken a huge risk to save me. Now, if one of us got hit with a fatal blow, it was curtains for both. And that thought awakened in me a desperate hunger for survival. For life. The next moment, Lyria and I felt this reverberation of power. The torrent of emotion rushing from me had awakened something. Darkness and flame swirled around us, coalescing into a massive dragon. 
Bahamut. With him on our side, we made short work of the Imperial Hydra. Now that their trump card had been blasted into oblivion, the Imperial Army had no choice but to run. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't chased that light. No Lyria, no lifelink, no adventure. And I probably wouldn't even have set foot off of Zinkin still. Fate's a funny thing, isn't it? Since meeting Lyria, we've seen our fair share of joy and happiness, and pain and suffering. But the Grand Cypher crew doesn't buckle under pressure. We'll take on anything the journey throws at us. No regrets. That was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Thanks. Oh, wait. So I can do up to, all right, I'm not going to do these now. This will take forever. But it's good stat increases. That's the whole thing. I want to do them for the stat increases. Um, let's walk around town and see if we got all the, uh, now what's this, what's this quad one? He's charred lumber. Well, who's this guy? They won't be going near him. So he needs one more? Yeah. Looks like there's a few more over. Yeah, we've been to a lot. You're right. You're right, dog. Jump off of here. Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Can't flip around. Mm -hmm. You probably have. Probably time to go. Oh, he looks up at me. Can he go through me? He's going to go right through me. Oh, he's walked over my foot. That's a good cat. Cats aren't usually good. Now let's go get this clown up here. Oh, this guy needs another thing. Oh, he needs more whirl shrooms. This is the whirl shroom guy. A powerful laxative. It's a revolution for digestive health. Ready for some action? Saved his guts. Yeah, right, we got what the man is. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, it. Fight Barber. Oh, that's awesome. Let's come back once we find a key. Look how high he jumps. The temp healer.
guess it's a quest counter. Yeah. Are you all ready for takeoff? I can leave at a moment's notice. Prep Dan ready. Excellent. Then let's cast off. You cast off, jerk. Awesome! The deck looks good as new. What in blue blazes is this? <laughs> Why were you like what you see? It's the latest in ether cannon technology. You did this? That thing looks like a recipe for disaster. You bet it is. See, a merchant I know's been asking me to test it out. This flagship model employs ethereal mechanics to increase range, accuracy, velocity. <laughs> Never took Roland for a weapons maniac. By the way, Captain, how is the lifelink between you and Lyria holding up? It seems okay. Yeah, I think so too. So basically... And since they share the same life force, a healthy captain means a healthy Lyria. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Considering they called her a shaman, I doubt they're out to harm her. They're yanking my chain. That's incredible! See? I had the exact same reaction. We're still talking about the ether cannons. You guys are such dorks. I take back what I said. These ether cannons are pure magic. <laughs> it seems Roland has quite the silver tongue. Next stop, Lotania Island. Lotania Island. Target is obvious flagship, the Ameritat. Let's go rescue Lyria. Hey, fix it, dude. Who died and made you captain? Hey, shut up. That's Roland to you. <laughs> <laughs> We have to save her. Indeed. Well, she has crisscross legs. Yep, yeah, right. Oh, yes. Seems useful. Don't worry, we have Captain Jerk off on here. I'm gonna jump off, can I? Oh, we got item. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let me just throws a you know left of a folly cord. Boy. I want to go down. Oh, seems useful. on our side. 
Grand Cypher should get us there in no time. The Church of Avia, claiming Lyria was some kind of shaman of salvation, had ripped her away from us. We had no idea what they were after, much less what they had in store for Zega Grande. The most we could speculate? There had to be a connection between Avia's appearance and the incidents with Bahamut and Furikan. Furikan. At the very least, Roland had an idea of where they were taking Lyria. Motanya Island. Oh, good. Carry ah, you. Got eyes on him. Good luck trying to outrun the Grand Cipher. Can we just get our, our ship blown up again? What the fuck is this? Good grief. Get, get out of here. Let's save this. Blocking these bots. That's all I get. That's what I get. Or my cousin. Get bots or my cousin. And I got bots right now. Troops, form up! Oh, yeah. 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 
Great cipher. Oh, yeah, they felt that one. You'll have to fight in close quarters. Shots at the Grand Cipher for you. I could finish it off. Can you disable their ship? Like knock out the power? Then uh, we'll have to send it. Taking so much damage so far. Looking up to us with their anchors. Talk about clinging. We gotta do this again. We can't use the cannons either, but we can't stand here gawking. Those chains will rip the Grand Cipher in half if you don't do something. Then they'll have to destroy them. Come on, everyone. <laughs> We've lost the tactical yeah, leg. Requesting backup from ship three. That's right! Get off our ship! I knew you could do it! Destroy the other and we're free! Fantastic work, everyone. That was exceptional. How's the ship? Can she still fly? Sure can. 
I wish I had a ship as amazing as yours. Now, put her to the test. That big red ship zoomed into the clouds! We'll lose some visibility in there. Stay on your toes. I think I'll just stand here. Oh wow, I got five healing potions? Huh. Fascinating. What? <laughs> I hate being popular. And they're just destroying this ship. This right ship is taking so much damage in the first four chapters. I've had enough. Hey, Oigan, cannons up yet? I think we're good. Let's say hi with a bang. We've come way too far to get shot down now. Blast what do you want me to do?
very messy game right now. I mean, it, it's cool and everything, cinematic, but it could be a little... It could, we could do without the friggin' the time. The time bar. The time bar, you now don't get to enjoy the fighting. Because everything is time-based. What can we say? Those bozos weren't even a challenge. All right, now to catch that ship. It's showtime, folks. <laughs> and our ship is... Look, yeah, from that angle, our ship looked like it was... Oh, good. We got a boss here. Look at, look at this clown. Who are you? Who am I? Call me Galant. Oh, he's got a nice name. Alpha of the Silver Wolf Corps, and strongest in the land. Plus, I didn't have my inverted name. I thought I was having trouble with it. Watch the, where you stick pad. that thing. Who cares about a dumb pile of wood? You see, all that matters. <laughs> is the last. <laughs> this guy is insane. Oh. Yeah, destroy our deck with the big axe. At least give me a challenge. Oh good, yeah, that's good. That? We were so close to you There we go. I guess we're impressive. No one's ever made such short work of my unit before. I want answers and you're going to give them to me. Why did you give that Lyria? Why you ask? Because I live to test my mind to get the strong. She had to go and do that more, but you know what? This is going to be fun. That's a dumb excuse. Yeah, he's he's not the he's 10 of his health. Do it again. That's Those attacks are hard to avoid. Might be better to buckle down and guard. Back in the game. Oh, what, what the? What the hell was that? Can I get up, please? Oh, good. good. Come on. Why the link attack in the demo? The link attack lasted more. It seems we've got to see the limits of his ferocity. Oh shit, bro. Great timing. Armor break. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I beg to, I beg to differ. How come I'm the only one that gets slow in that house? Then they give me overdrive attacks that just last forever. Oh, jeez, oh man, what the fuck? Man, what, what a, what a, what a game, man. Holy shit. 
I needed that. Just make the, you know, this is, this is, I just got, this is something I gotta get used to. Then come hit me. Heads up, people. Oh, he's doing this in the air and that that shit still hit me. Like we just took off with just a you know three percent of his health. Oh, he'll get up and wait like he's at ninety-seven percent. Ah, good. Thank you for giving me a little workout. Look, look, they flies up in the air like some oh, really? Superman or some shit. These clowns never die in these games. I am to fall in this duel, and it would have been a life well spent. I'm inclined to say that you've had quite enough entertainment. Huh? Another one. I haven't had a worthy fight in ages. I won't retreat. Really, you speak like a beast with more impulse this, than this sense. clown will probably be like. <laughs> if you're lying on the ground, be of Absolutely life, destroy us. How will you explain yourself to our really lady? Him. Or her, whatever it is. Point taken. I could use a nice nap. But as for you, the next time we meet face to face. Only one of us will walk away. It'll be glorious! Dark. Here, 
of this guy. So that just happened. Guys, that lady that was just here disappeared too. She has quite the talent. Yet another. We're no closer to rescuing her. Roland, what of the red ship? Don't you worry. I've got eyes on it. They're flying towards Mount Nagelith. Whoa! <laughs> Old girl's taking too much damage. Hope she don't fall. Damn it! Just gave her a yeah. tune-up too. Don't let us down, Grand Cipher. It, it's basically the, the ship's basically destroyed again. You got to replace the entire deck. was a hell of a lot more in depth than the first boss. A hell of a lot more. Wow, that was that was, that was exhilarating. Seven hundred damage. Unfortunately, I think it missed that one gold chest, and that pissed me off. Oh. I guess this is what it's gonna be. You're gonna get. You're gonna. You're gonna clear. Uh, uh, you clear an island. You get ready to go to the next island. You have sky battles and, and bosses and stuff. What the hell is that open for? Why is the center open? And then you get you finally get to the next one. What the hell is this? What the f why is this open? I don't understand why this is open. That was weird. Just random uh, web browsers just opening themselves. I gotta do some more. Oh, yep. Awesome. Did you speak Japanese? Is that? Wow. A... We chase after the red ship, straining to see through the flurries of snow. Motania Island. Home to I thought it was going to be going to the desert island. Yeah, they showed that off a lot. 
Out here, it's just white, white, and more white. The ship shivers in the blasts of icy wind. This place has got just one message for us. Keep out. Chapter 5, Shadows in the Snowscape. Let me look up the Americas. I'm not even saying like... And there's friggin' this shit. This one's saying there's nine chapters. This one's saying there's twelve. Somebody was talking about forty. I don't know what the. F I don't know what to believe. before the storm hit. It was like the one in Tempeel. If that light is what I think it is. You guessed right. It's where we'll find the island's altar. And Avia. So they aim to drive another primal beast to insanity? Be that as it may, Lyria is waiting for us. Now is not the time to speculate. Look, I know we gotta go, but the ship's hurting. We won't get far without repairs. With a blizzard like this, all we can do is wait till it dies down. I'll go on foot. In this weather? Through a mountain? Well, I'm dangerous. Dangerous, that is? If anything, it might be safer. There's an old monastery nearby. I plan to meet a friend by the sanctum. With her leading the way, You'll arrive at the altar come rain, sleet, or snow. Then she's our only chance! Come on! The trails are infested with monsters. But after seeing your handiwork, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Thing is, I can't leave the Grand Cipher unguarded. Then permit me to repair her in your stead. She'll be ready to fly in no time. Look, it's not that I don't trust you. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm Mr. Fix-It, remember? Repairs are my specialty. He's not gonna like that. She's in your hands. Well, if Captain's on board with it. You're such a crybaby, Rackham. You still can't leave the Grand Cypher's nest. Oh, give me a break. Seriously, it ain't like that. Roland, can I trust you with the Grand Cipher? <laughs> On my honor, I'll do everything in my power to patch her up. Okay, gang, let's get going before we turn into popsicles. Lyria needs us. Well, at least she's a good healer. The monastery should be this way. It's a little chilly. The rope pulled through. What the hell's back there? I swear, every time I open up shop on this mouth, my ass is deep. All right, not bad enough. I'll see you later. Good night, whoever you are. God bless.